number 73,111. You want to refer to your setup gauge on each trade. Feel free to steal my setup gauge here. Ideally, you want to be taking trades over here in the F yeah quadrant. And how do you know if it's F yeah? Well, when you see the trade, you should get pretty excited and you'd feel like an idiot if you didn't take it, right? And if you lose on the trade and you shrug your shoulders and say, shit happens, what the hell, I don't care. That was an F yeah trade. And that's when you start to reach that true enlightenment. When you do everything correctly, it doesn't work out. But you're like, next, I'm going to do the same exact thing next time. It'll work out as long as you're not becoming the definition of insanity. But make sure it truly is an F yeah trade. Sakota once said, and, and I've been credited saying it, but no, I've quoted Sakota so many times. It's kind of like all my uh, Linda Rasky isms that I used to talk about and still do on occasion. But Dakota once said, you, you can't confuse intuition with intuition. And that one kind of haunts me sometimes because sometimes it's like, oh, that looks great. And I just jump in. And then I realized, well, wait a minute. It doesn't, doesn't really look that great. It was more of a, an emotional, a super emotional trade. All trades are emotional. All decisions are emotional. That's neurology. But the bottom line is, if you really do have an FEA trade, then number 73,111, explain why this is an FEA setup. Now, let's say you're, you're taking only FEA setups. You're, you're doing what I'm saying, and you keep losing, 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 losing. Well, maybe you need to back off a little bit and analyze the market and then analyze all your setups to make sure they truly were FEA setups. And I bet you 100 bucks, you'll probably find a lot of mistakes and you'll, find, you'll probably realize that it wasn't an FEA setup. Go through enough of those cycles and then if you if you lose on all your FEAs, then maybe you've become the definition of insanity. But you won't if they truly are FEA setups. Every now and then, of course, you will. But go ahead and explain this FEA setup as if you were proclaiming it to the world, sort of like sell me on your setup. Now, if you're alone, as most of us are as traders, then just say it out loud. It sounds, it's a little weird and quirky at first, but once you get used to it, it's really, it's really not that strange, but say, okay, I like this setup because, and if you are to post something and, and feel free, if you're in, face, in the Facebook group, Dave Landry's Trend Traders, you have to be a goal member to participate but if you are in the group uh, thank you but you could put a trade feel free to throw trades out there i'll be happy to look at them my members would love for you to do that right and sell us on your setup tell us why you like it so we see what you're seeing and if you are able to kind of proclaim it to the world so to speak then maybe you might have a pretty good setup so i grabbed one from i think this was the same day or right around the same day that I had recommended the KNF, and this one since stopped out, but it was a pretty good trade, and it just so happened to be the one I was looking at, but you had trend acceleration. Notice that it was kind of gradually working its way higher, and then it began to accelerate higher. What else did you have? You had persistency, and if you go in and watch the archives to these, if you can't sleep at night, but it's a great exercise if I say so myself, and it, it's a, one, getting to my head, seeing how I think about markets, and two, I think you'll learn a lot about the process of, okay, of stock selection. It's got acceleration. It's got persistency. It's a, it's a nice little TKO is what I said. <laughs>